Okay, fine, Will. For you to talk to Will. <laughs> this is a cool spot. I like it. Also, why do I have? Put put these away. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. Uh, doesn't this violate your contract? The same thought crossed my mind. I'm only to hunt the infernal, the demonic, and the heartless. But nowhere was it stated that I can't help one. Either we find it, or I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front line of the blood war. Oh, geez. Uh, you mean too much the Sword Coast. And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held, and I know I chose right. <clears throat> Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it. But I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. I can feel Mazora scheming, plotting. She won't let me go without making a fuss. Trust me on that. Okay, and that's nice, everybody. That's super nice. Uh, if I go to bed and Karlak does not show up, I'm gonna be very upsetty spaghetti. Why am I I'll give it a shot. still have this? I don't know why sometimes stuff gets equipped and sometimes it doesn't. Oh my gosh, is this the biggest, not the biggest guardian cock block also? The voice of the absolute is strong here. Oh. And getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. But it's good to see you're making progress. You don't know how much longer you can resist it, so am I gonna die? Is my brain gonna be taken? Are you okay? You took an unexpected route. What do you here. mean? You did a brave thing, saving those people in the grove. That wasn't even a choice. They needed my help. I think that's how she would feel. Not everyone would have helped. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. I'm failing these a lot lately. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this. That's not what I want to hear. Nope, not at all. Are you serious right now? Oh. I'm so angry. I'm so angry. Come back! What if I just go to bed immediately again? Hey, you. Yeah, listen, here. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so mad. Oh my gosh. Um, well, let me see. Let's see how Scratch is doing down here. Hope you're keeping well, friend. I am. Pet, pet. Where? What are you doing, little buddy? Why aren't you following your brother around? You smell very delicious. Thank you. But I will not bite you. I am you. very glad about that. You like it here? Nice here. The cave okay. smells like... Ooh. Poor Kolak. She can finally seek out the touch of another, only to be told she might not have much time left. <gasps> Remember when you told me night arcs were your favorite flowers? Rings a bell. Why? I have one right here. It's it's in her inventory already, but yeah. Oh hells. 
You didn't pick that by hand, did you? They're deadly poisonous. Joking. Uh, <laughs> They're safe and beautiful. Thank Listen you. Listen here. I don't have anything to give you in return. It's a gift. It's not supposed to be. Um, mm -hmm. It was just a token. I don't expect anything in return. Well, perhaps I can come up with something later. All, All right, I see the appeal. I see the appeal of Shadowheart. A little bit. Bye. Oh. Give Shadowheart a Night Orchid. Well, I mean, it was in her inventory because I already okay. gave it to her, but I'm glad it counted. Uh, Alright, Lazel, you have anything for me? If death is soon to take Karlak, she should make every moment as rich as the last. That's her plan. Fight viciously, roar loudly, step boldly. She must make herself known. I do believe that is her plan. Uh, do you have anything else to say about things? So, the untouchable Karlak is untouchable no Hands more. Hands off, boys. Boy. I shake a hand, but she can still snap me in two, so, uh, <laughs> probably safest to <laughs> But she can still snap me in two. Okay, bye. I need to take that helmet off of him and only put it on him when he's coming out. It's useful. It's good. Where's Gail? Oh my gosh, these guys. Why are you guys so far apart? Halson has his own little setup now. Maybe now I can talk to Halson. Listen here. I have, also, I'm still mad. Don't make no mistake. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to leave after talking with everyone. And I'm going to try to go to sleep again. I don't know if that'll work. But that's ridiculous that that would happen. Two instances of something. But I guess it makes sense. It's act two. We're in a new, brand new area. Like, so stuff was bound to happen. But really, the warlock thing had to take precedence over Karlag. Aww. I know well the pain of seeing your life's hourglass running empty. Grasping at any means of slowing the grains as they slip inexorably through Of course I picked these two. Karlak's fate may be ordained, but her actions are not. She will make each breath count. We can be sure of I, And both of them are okay with this weird suicide pact that they're in. Gale is, like, unexpectedly okay with becoming... Like a freaking bomb, a walking bomb, and like, or like a, an intentional one, right? And freaking Carlyle's over there, like, she's okay with eventually melting. Like, they're both like, well, she wants to live life to her fullest, and he sees it as like a path to redemption or whatever, which dying is not a redemption. And that's my, I've gone on that about that many a time, but like, anyway, why did I pick the two who are so desperate to die? <laughs> This is how it always is. Always, always, always. Ugh. How beautiful it must be to know you can hold a hand, caress a cheek after going so long without. We'll get Karlak fixed up, right? There's always a way. There has to I be. I love Will. I love Will. He's an excellent man. There's a reason two of my characters have, in other games have already fallen for him. I think he truly is the best of us. The shadow curse is upon us. As foul as I remember it. Perhaps even worse. But with the Oak Father's blessing, we may soon see it banished from this I wonder lands. if he's mad at me for not being a nature paladin anymore. Still feeling at home here with us? The soundings are less bucolic, I understand. It's not easy seeing the ravages of the Shadow Curse. But your camp is a most welcome solace. You've shared your fire with me, your company. A small pocket of light against the darkness. But one I couldn't do without. Thank You're you. You're welcome. My necromancer desperately wants to romance him. Um. You're welcome. You're too modest by far. What fate what? would I have what? met without <laughs> you? Rotting in the goblin cells? Dying against an onslaught on the grove? More good has been done since I met you than in a hundred years before. Words cannot express my gratitude. Well, okay. 
I, whoa, listen here, it's tempting, buddy, but I, it is, it is tempting. Nope, 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 no words needed, I understand how you feel. Yes, I think you do. <clears throat> Forgive me. <clears throat> Sometimes I forget myself, gazing on the beauty of nature's creation. <laughs> This man, <laughs> wow, okay. So act two is when he's like, nah, girl, it's good. Like, <laughs> Listen, this would have been nice in act one, okay? But now, I'm I almost said I'm a married woman. I'm almost an attached woman. Listen, <laughs> I'm almost there. <laughs> if it weren't for a few things, this night could have gone very differently. <laughs> We're in the midst of the shadow curse now. Is there any more you can tell me about how to lift it? This land is more than just soil and rock, root and leaf. What? It is a living being in the form of a young fae boy with the forest itself in his eyes. His name is Thaniel. I've met him in my meditations. But since the curse was unleashed, I have not felt his presence. He is its prisoner, I fear. And as long as he remains so, his domain will lie in darkness. This is not what I expected. But if we can find him, we can break the curse. If you learn anything of the shadow fell, or of a boy with the forest in his eyes, find me at once. Okay, like the way his voice was, or like the way he animated that, that was interesting. What should I, I mean, he just said, I can't be exact, unfortunately. Time and the Shadow Curse won't have been kind to any traces that would have been left behind. A living witness is unlikely, I'll admit. But perhaps there'll be an unliving witness, or some lingering echo of what we seek. Don't worry. If you find something, you will know it. Only if the narrator tells me in my ears. Well... I believe that was everyone. I <coughs> only have 25 camp supplies left. Oh, there's more. Well, I think this part has gone on, I guess, for too long. We're gonna have to save the Carlag thing. I, I, it looks like I can go right back to bed. A long rest, but that is a waste of potentially of resources, but maybe I just don't have to use them, honestly. Like, because we don't need our spells replenished or anything. But I might have to go buy supplies. I have noticed lately I haven't been picking up as much. Let's see. I've definitely seen that ox before. <gasps> it has the same strange look in its eyes. It's that one ox! Okay, hang on, we gotta touch the ox before I go. This one? Which one? This one? Or this one? Strange ox. No. Still in capable. Are you serious? A, uh, incapable of what? Not for you to know. Aw, oh, come on. Let's see. You're a rare breed, an authentic red backed river ox. I thought you'd be more discerning. Nerd, try persuasion. And I have Shadow Heart here, which is very nice. Give me something. Well come close. Your mind to mine. Oh, okay. Ooh! Oh my gosh. Oh. What are you? Those are the least bovine thoughts I've ever seen. There's a bunch of dead humanoids. What are you really? Keep quiet, and you won't have to find out. And why are you hiding in an ox? Was that a threat? That's up to you. No, it's no sugar to not save with me. You're coming out of hiding. All I wanted was a bit of hay, a good brushing, and a clean stall. The simple life. Is that so much to ask? Hmm. Are we. What? 
What is that? A I do not know if this is the way to go, but... Um... Your secret's safe with me. I don't know, I can't just let somebody like this... Are you... Hang on, are you immune? Acid immune. A level 5 ooze. I mean, maybe it really did just want to vibe? I don't know, I feel bad. I am curious, though. Wow, oh, we just acid, we did a lot of acid here. God, it's hot in here. Enough of you. Excuse me, why? Dennis. Uh, that's not okay. Jimmy on the go. Uh oh. Oh, jeez. Battle favors the fearless. Um I don't think I'll ever look at an ox quite the same. Ooh. Just when I think I've seen it all. Was that at least it's dead now. Was that damn <laughs> Uh I can't believe nobody else got involved. I need I'll to find What am I going to do? What's who gonna what do? Okay, good. Okay. No time to rest. Are you good? You were making quite a ruckus over there. Hope everything's all right. Oh, you know. Strange fellow, that one. You sure made a mess of him. <laughs> Let's see what he had. A magic hat. Gail should have it. Shapeshifter's boon ring. Uh. <laughs> I'm a talented shapeshifter too. I can shape your thin body into a fat body. All I need is a steady supply of mince pies and mulled wine. Overheard at a da in a tavern at Daggerford. Classic. Jade and Malachite. While shapeshifting or disguising yourself. Interesting. Well, uh, that I, I'm sure that could have played out in a fascinating way in, in in any other situation, but uh I guess not now. I thought it was you. Saving my I was skin curious! I Never seen a shapeshifted ox before. But I'm glad you dealt with it before it dealt with us. Yeah. I'm glad to see you're alright. The way here was anything but easy, eh? Well <coughs> you were saying A makeshift harper's fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. I love him. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. His eyes are beautiful. How does he do that? I hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove, for obvious reasons. But no one has earned my trust, if not you. When Elturel was dragged into Avernus, I was drafted into a devil's smithy. It should have been awful. But infernal metal is like a wild horse. Powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. So a challenge. I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. How'd you guys get through the shadows? If you find it, bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. I actually have some. I'm pretty sure I have a couple pieces. I want to know how they got here. They're like, we ran through the shadows. I'm like, what do you mean you ran through the shadows and you didn't get cursed? And half of you were taken to Moonrise? Like, but I need more information than that. Sounds like you had an interesting time. Ooh. Oh, God, there's bunches of stuff. Some of us had it easier than others. The baker, the schoolmaster. When Elturel was swallowed up, they could do little but survive. As for me, I won't say I enjoyed my time there, but it was certainly instructional. Mm. 
Let's see what you have. Arrow of Dragon Slaying? What? Oh my gosh. This man. Sword of Life Stealing? I don't have. I knew this stuff was gonna be. Mm. I knew we were gonna find a bunch of cool stuff worth a lot of money. And I had a lot of money, and now I do not have a lot of money. Oh, Shadowheart can wear medium armor. I forget. Not just Lazelle. I want the Sword of Life Stealing, but I have so many cool weapons. I have so many, so many. I'll be here if you need anything else. Listen, I'll talk to you about that other stuff later, my guy. Don't even worry about it. This is crazy. Are we all going to be here for like... Are we going to be here at Moonrise the whole time? Like, is, is this the whole new area that we're going to spend the entirety of Act 2 in? Because, uh... This is dark. This is a dark place. I don't want to be here. <laughs> But anyway, I think I will go ahead and end it here. So thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to every single one of my patrons, including my acorns. Thank you so much, Fane, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so, so much for your support. It truly means a lot. Thank you so much. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my forest tier patron, who has gone above and beyond in his support of me in the channel. And I just cannot thank you enough, honestly. Thank you so much for putting up with me and being so supportive and being very nice. So thank you all again for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.